Shamai! We finally got there. My new B U F X bass ukulele effects. So I first mentioned this pedal board towards the beginning of the year. I'm looking to put something together um, with pedals more suitable for bass ukuleles and bass instruments. Um, as a bass player of 30 odd years, um, I've never really used effects much, certainly not when I've been out gigging. Um, there just isn't really the call for it. People want to hear the bass. But I thought it'd be fun as I'm loving the effects I'm using on the normal electric ukuleles at the minute. I thought I'd just have a little look to see what I could come up with for our bass ukes. So the board itself is a small board, okay? I've got four pedals on the, the minute. I am definitely looking to get a fifth. I'll talk a bit more about that shortly. So we've got a tuner um, by Coco very cheap tuner works it does the job again that'll be something i will mention um my bass preacher electro harmonics compressor pedal by far the most expensive pedal on the board i bought this years ago to be honest um and occasionally have used it um but it'll be interesting to see what it sounds like with the other pedals um the sonic cake auto wah or cry bot um, I've got an Ottawa for my electric ukes and I do like playing a little bit of sort of funk, um, bass uke. So I thought that would be a fun one to try. I'm not, I'm not a massive rock player. Um, I can't really see me using much massive distortion or chorus or things. I might look up on a bit of gain or overdrive at some point. Um, but I did want to try an Ottawa. And then the one that I was really the most interested in trying out was um, an equaliser, specifically for bass instruments. So you heard a little bit of them in the unboxing the other day, um, individually. Let's have a little listen to them um, play together on a board. I'm going to try two bass ukuleles today. My um, Carla Electroacoustic, because it's got the polyurethane or rubber strings, and my Carla and Nick West California U bass because it's got the metal round wound strings. It'll be interesting to hear the comparison with the new pedals. Hopefully we're ready to go. I've got the small camera set up. Um, I'm not sure what the quality will be like on it, but I will certainly use it on occasion. Um, using my Carla electroacoustic fretless bass ukulele, just so you're aware of that. Um, I put the pedal board together last weekend. I'm gutted. I thought I actually uh, recorded a bit of footage of it, but I've been through all my devices and obviously I didn't. Just before I start playing, keep an eye on this today. I get so many questions about it. It's my decibel reader. I've moved it from way over there for this video. The higher the numbers go, the louder it is. Now, it could well be that it's not that noticeable if I've had to edit sounds up and down, but by keeping an eye on that, it will show you how loud it's going or how quiet it's staying. Clean signal, so no effect. That's not too boomy in the room at the minute. Let me just get rid of those. Um, I'm not going to worry too much and fuss about the tuner today. It works, okay? So, first of all, um, a compressor sort of compresses or squishes the sound so that it becomes even dynamics. Auto wire is it's a dynamic filter, so it, it, it does mess about with the dynamics of it a little bit, so that could be an interesting combination. And then the equaliser, as I said, is specifically set up for bass instruments. So we've just had the clean signal. With compressor. It's slightly louder. Now with the settings, I've got the volume just over half. 
and the sustain just under uh, the 12 o'clock halfway sign. Right, let's try Ottawa. I do like that. And then the equalizer. Now again, I've had a little mess with this and set this one up for this bass for now. I find the highest frequency just a touch above zero. Um, I'm taking the mids out a little bit and then the lowest two frequencies. Uh, the one, two, five is just above the uh, 62.5. Okay, so this is what with, let's just do without. With. Again, there's not that much at the moment of a difference. This has got a level of volume on it as well. So I can just straight away if I need to. I was keeping an eye on that for a second. Right. I'm going to bring the level back down a little bit and I'm just trying to go back and forth as a straight comparison a minute. Clean signal or no pedals. All the pedals. finding that quite boomy but again until I hear the recording of this and I probably will either be using my monitor speakers or proper headphones it really is quite difficult to tell just because of the volume of sound in this room and also the real test using something like this is when you're playing with other musicians will it cut through the rest of the sound okay um, that will be an interesting test, but obviously I can only do this today. Something to remember as well. Um, somebody could literally go out and buy these identical pedals, set them up in exactly the same setting, but not necessarily get the same sound as me. They might be using a different bass, they might be using a different amp, they might be using different strings. Um, it's very... It, it's difficult to tell because everybody uses slightly different equipment. So I can only give you a rough idea today of the sounds that I'm getting from these. Clean signal, no effect. with equalizer and compressor. And a little bit of the cry bot, the Ottawa. signal so no pedals at the minute I'm gonna try just the Ottawa for a second doesn't get much funkier than this Answers on a postcard which famous bass player actually wrote or certainly performed this bass line in Grooves in the Heart. Well, answer in the comments anyway.
Away to me sounded a bit cleaner then whether it's because the compressor was actually doing its job or the equalizer was um, working better with it as well I'm not sure which one it was again that's gonna take a lot of discovering okay but I do like that combination of pedals with a bit of funk bass so another little riff um, clean signal a bit of reggae this time or a bit of dance music from the 90s depending where you know it from Lots of nice low frequencies. Let's try just the equaliser to start with. Right, let's add the compressor pedal for a bit of compression. Again, I'm not convinced that's actually making a huge difference. Okay, a little bit of auto wah. So that's um, the three, I know there are four pedals on there with a the tuner, but that's the three pedals uh, in different combinations. It will be very interesting to hear these back. Um, first of all is this with those, and then we'll get the uh, California U bass out now. Right, so my solid body uh, Carla California U bass, the most obvious different apart from the way it looks. This has got... Uh, metal round wound strings so that could well have an impact uh, on the pedals it certainly does when I use nylon strings and steel strings on a normal ukulele now there may I haven't touched the amp uh, the pedals are off there may already be a slight difference now in the overall volume of this compared to the other bass uke so that's just for you to be aware if you are really keeping an eye on the decibel reader. Clean signal. See, now I love that sound, just the natural sound of a bass. Okay, right, let's try some of the pedals. So, compressor. EQ by itself. I don't know if you, you're going to be able to hear this or not. There was like various buzzing sounds coming from all over the room. Um, I don't know what's causing it. Hopefully it's not going to affect the audio on this too much. And the Crybot. So those are the three pedals individually. This may get a bit loud, keep an eye on that.
You can see it here, the wah, wah, wah of the auto wah kicking in. Just out of curiosity, I don't know what happens if I turn uh, the big knob up. <laughs> did I just say that? Yeah, I did. As I said, I really am going to have to... I've had quite a good play, but um, with so many bases to try, I'm going to take a bit more time to really get to know these pedals. Okay, a couple of the other riffs from before. Just Ottawa for a second. Let's try them all. No pedals. doing my best not to get too much bass face going on today with the pedals noticed or rather noticed it's not there I don't really seem to be getting much humming or buzzing or interference off the pedals through the amp either with them all on now um, it's it, it really is the slightest of sounds because the pedals are off I think I can probably just slightly hear the fan humming but apart from that there doesn't seem to be any interference but I have got a bit of a master plan hopefully coming up soon, which might make this even more portable. Watch this space. So I do hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. I know I'm really interested actually to hear the um, sounds back wearing headphones or using decent monitors to hear it. Um, yes, when you're in a room this size, it can all get a little bit much, okay? So I'm, I'm quite interested to hear these. I know I've still got a lot of messing about with the pedals to really get some different sounds out of them. So that's gonna be fun to do as well. Um, and I have got a plan, <laughs> I know. Um, I know I can fit five pedals on here. I have tried with a spare pedal and now, as a bass player, I'm thinking what is going to be useful. I'm not looking at chorus. I'm not really looking at much distortion or fuzz or anything like that. Or even possibly delay and reverb if I can get something in one pedal. But the two that are sort of spring into mind at the minute is a drum machine pedal. They do exist. I think that would be a really good idea on here. And a looper. Um, and suddenly I'm like, hang on, you're up to six pedals. Ah, I've just discovered you can get a looper with a tuner built in. So that might be something I'll look at in the future as well. Octave pedals, that's something I want to get anyway for my other uke board. So that is something when, when I get a, an octave pedal, I will try that out on here. I wanted this to be nice and short today. I'm suspecting it won't be. I've got carried away as always. Apologies and thank you for sticking with me if you're still here. So it's the start of the B-U-F-X bass ukulele effects pedal board. There is more to come with this, I promise. But as always, feel free to leave a comment or a question below if you've got one. Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.